Alright, before I start this video today, I want to say my heart and my prayers still go out to uh, the victims and all the firefighters that happened 12 years ago today, 9-11 guys. So, I um, just wanted to get that out there real quick. But anyway, today's going to be a vlog. That's right, I'm not going to show my car. <laughs> I, I goofed that video up guys. I'm sorry. It was one of them days I was off my game and my head was splitting. Oh my gosh. I had the world's worst headache. And I really wish I would have waited on that video so I could have done it justice. But anyway, I am one Bubba Mike one and I think our neighbors are moving. Or they already moved. So yeah. Can you believe it's September right now and my daughter and I are sweating our butts off? It is so hot out here, you would think it's July. What's up with this weather? Either the squirrels been busy on my deck with their uh, nuts or the walnuts are already starting to fall. Yeah, but I want to show you guys something. All right, this is where we park our car. It is a mess. Here, look at this. We have crater holes here about a foot deep. And it is a total mess. Plus, still had this tree stump that I uh, dug into and put Epsom salt on. Still no sign of it rotten yet. But anyway, let me tell you what my plans are in the future, okay? Now, I'm hoping to maybe, I'm not sure when because it takes money and money I ain't got right now. But I'm hoping to get gravel dumped here. This is the part of the yard I don't show a whole bunch of my videos. This is the reason why I didn't. But anyway, I'm wanting to get this whole little section right here. What's well, a pretty good size section. Graveled in. And once I get that tree stump out, get that graveled in. So that'll gravel through there and run into here. Now my problem is, do I dig into it? Do I do make preparations? What kind of gravel would I use? I don't know any of this stuff. I've never put gravel in for a driveway. There's no way I can afford, you know, concrete, but this is what my hopes are down in the future. If you guys got any comments on this? Leave them down below. You know, I, I, like to, I like to hear them. And speaking of comments, I got about two videos of comments to catch up on. There's a reason I held back on that, and I'll tell you that in just a little bit. But right now, let me tell you why I haven't videoed here in this part of the yard that much. See, this part of the yard is real close to my neighbors, and the reason we haven't videotaped here because they were always out, but I think they moved away. Now, the neighbors were nice when we talked to them, but they were issues. Let me show you. See, this goes all the way back to my backyard, all the way down. And for a couple years, it was nothing but garbage all the way through that. And it was a mess. And every bit of it came from the neighbors. And then, quite a few times, they would park right here in this side of my side yard here. If you guys remember back last winter, somebody parked here and got their vehicle stuck and left ruts to the yard. That still could be kind of seen today. So I didn't really want to go over that side and start videotaping. You know, I didn't know what they would think, although it is my property. But you know, it's just the way I am. Now like I said, they were nice people. They would talk to you, cool. And they did clean up the mess in the side yard and they did kind of stay away from parking in my side yard. But damn it, I went through a lot of hell with them. And I wish them the best. But hey, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Well, yeah, I want to tell you another thing. All right, this is for my guy subscribers out there. You ever do something to try to show off for your girlfriend or your wife? You ever do something like that? Well, the other day I made a complete idiot out of myself. Now, let me, let me paint the story for you real quick. Years ago, I used to be in the construction, and I used to have to carry a claw hammer around on me. Well, I used to keep the claw hammer on my tool belt in this little, you know, holder. Well... Every time I put, before I put it in my tool belt, I was able to take the claw hammer and swistle it around, sort it around my hands real quick and put it in there like it was a gun in a holster. Well, the other day, I had to put the sign up out there, right? So I put the sign up and I was walking through here like I'm doing now. And I twiddled the hammer that I had 
in my hand. I was like, hey Angie, come here, I'm going to show you something. Now, before I tell you what happened, you got to remember, the hammer I was using was a much bigger hammer than what I used back years ago. And my gosh, this has been 25 years ago. So I'm like, hey Angie, look at this. So I'm right here in the spot. I pulled the hammer out and I twist around in my hand. It got away from me and I went to catch it with my other hand and the claw dug right in my hand. After it dug in my hand, it fell down and came within inches from hitting my foot. So needless to say, I put a big old gash in my hand because I want to show off in front of my wife. Yeah. It is so dang hot out here. I'm gonna hide in this shaded area. But guys, uh, back a couple videos ago, um, well before I get into that, how many guys ever watch your videos and you're watching your video clips as you're editing your video and you're like, what the heck was that? What well, that happened? Back a couple videos ago, I was on the back deck. I'm gonna show you where. I was right here talking about my solar lights and well, as I watched the clip, I seen something. It looked like a shadow or something. Actually, at first I thought, oh my gosh, my video camera's acting up. And it was like someone by real fast, like boom, you know? I didn't catch it. When I was videotaping, I noticed nothing about it. So when I got inside, I slowed that bugger down. You ain't gonna believe what it was. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and run that clip I'm talking about. Now look real carefully. You'll see a shadow or something real quick. And then I'll be back, okay? But watch real carefully. Okay, guys. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to try not to do that. All right, did you guys see it? Now, let me show you the clip that I slowed down. I went ahead and slowed it down, and let me show you what it really was. You ain't going to believe this. As a matter of fact, uh, I put it up twice, okay? Because it's real quick. Even though I slowed it down, I put it in there twice. Here you go. That wasp was no more than that from my face. I didn't even know it went by. I had no knowledge of it. When I was videotaping, I never, I never knew. I had no clue. <laughs> he must have been cooking. You guys want to see a magic trick? Here, look. There's a leaf suspended in midair. How is that possible? Look at that. All right, it's a cobweb holding a leaf up. Yeah. You guys knew that, didn't you? <laughs> I asked Izzy if she wanted to be in today's video. She said no. I don't think she feels well. I think she has what I had the other day. When I did that car video, the whole general idea was to have a better location and actually present it in a whole different way. From what I was reading in the comments, it did sound like a commercial, didn't it? And one of the comments I was reading, the bubbling on the hood could be tree sap. That very well could be true. My car does sit underneath that dang tree. Well, this weekend I'm gonna give it a bath and see what happens then. But I wish I would have done the video over. I should have done it over. It, it wasn't, my head was just like, it was just pounding and it was hot today. And I was like, I wanna get it done. I wanna get it done. I felt it, but I was off my game big times. You guys ever get like that? For my fellow tubers out there, you guys ever to go do a video and you set out to do it and you find out you're off your game? Well guys, next couple days I'm hoping to get some pretty decent video of the Ohio River. And down the road I'm wanting to go and get some video of the Markland Dam. I want to uh, get some of these cool videos in while we still got the beautiful weather. But until next time guys, uh, I am One Bubba Mike One. Leave comments down below if you got any um, suggestions about the driveway. You know, I love to hear them. Leave comments down below again. Let me know what you guys were doing on 911 of 12 years ago. You know? Like I said, I was homesick. What was you all doing? Until next time, guys. If you like today's video, hit that like button. If you're brand spanking new to my videos, subscribe. Sometimes we have okay videos. This may be one of them times. Until next time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just get out of here.